How we doing, people? And hello, new subscribers. It's gonna got a few new ones. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. Much, much appreciated. All right. So, as most of you know, I'm a went back to doing drywall, but I still do landscaping and stuff. We've been doing some side stuff here and there. And it came apparent real quick the last couple weeks that we need a big mower again. I went through four Toros last year. By the way, if you get a Toro Time Cutter 54 inch, they are junk. There's something is Toro. We use their hand mowers or push mowers all the time, every day. And they're great. The riders suck. They're god awful. Oh, yeah. Got a new blower, too. Turn it off, I don't get copyright. Yeah, yeah, we got a new BR800C. This thing's a monster. Like 200 and something miles an hour. It's pretty crazy. All right, so we got a Cup Cadet ZT1 54 inch. Uh, Ultra, Ultima, Ultima. This thing's pretty wicked. Pretty nice rig. So, this will start at the front. So, the tires got slicks on the front for so it doesn't mess up the grass. If you guys catch me cussing, I don't mean to do it on purpose. I work around dry rollers all day, and yeah. Got LED lights. Those little things are actually pretty bright. Turn the lights off in here, see how bright they are. Yeah, they're not too terribly bad. It's not lighting up the world, but they're doing a pinch. Probably brighter with it running. Still a newbie at this. Yeah, not too bad. I think there's three LEDs in each lens. Somewhere in there. Alright, back to it. And yes, the shop's a mess. I've been working 12 hour days. It's been pretty crazy. All right, so the only thing I don't like about this thing is it's uh, the seat is rubber mounted, so there's some give, but when those Toros I had last year were sprung mounted, they were, that thing rode like a Cadillac. It was really nice. I mean, if you hit a big bump or something, it'd launch you, but I mean, that seat's not, I don't want to give to it. I haven't really done anything with it yet other than mow my front and backyard, which is, isn't much. So this right here, that's it. It's all to give. <coughs> all right, so anyways, yeah. Front tires are slick to save the lawn. It's got LED lights. There's no high beam, low beam or anything like that. Nothing crazy. Uh, just a little pad up front for your feet. I put my feet up here, up here on the deck surface. Um, this raises and lowers your deck, so you push on that. And then this thing has 15 deck settings. Sorry. It's here, right there. It's four and a half inches, what it's set at now. I just mowed the yard at two and a half inches. And I mean, I didn't see a single strand out of place, so nothing missed. So that was good. Uh, 54 inch. This one's a 54 inch 
fabricated deck. This thing makes some serious racket when you engage that deck at full throttle. So it's pretty loud. I definitely recommend some ear protection, but to each his own. Um, I haven't found an hour meter on it yet. And this is a this is a higher end one. I mean, it's not a it's thirty five hundred bucks with tax and everything out the door. Or actually, no, I take that back. I applied for a card to give me a hundred bucks off. That was thirty four forty out the door. Thanks, Biden. What we spent our stimulus on, or half of it. All right, moving on. So this got a chute, pretty good size chute. And you can get a begging system for these two. They're, I think, five or 600 bucks. It's not, nothing too crazy. I mean, you spend almost $3,500 on a mower. I mean, what's another 500 bucks, 600 bucks for a bagging system? But again, it's a matter of opinion. Here's the whole reason I bought it right here. Cup holders. No, just kidding. 100%. <laughs> uh, back tires are supposed to be turf savers. They're pretty grippy. I uh, All that right there is from me being a, a jackass and backing up real fast and then slamming it forward, which I know isn't good, but I was just screwing around. Anyways, I stood it almost straight up and down. And it slammed down, and that's what came out of the deck. Uh, tank holds three and a half gallons. I think I already said that. I'm not sure. This is supposed to be a roll bar. <clears throat> and here is so the 54 inch deck with three blades. And this, I mean, you're cutting tall, nasty grass, you got to have the horsepower to turn the blades. So, other than getting this, the 24 horsepower cooler, you can get a Kawasaki engine. Which and supposedly they're pretty comparable. Those, those Toros I had, uh, that thing had a, a 691V, and the Kawasaki, I loved it. This one seems to do pretty good. It's pretty stout. Uh, two into one muffler with a rectangular exhaust exit right there. It's got a little hitch on it. Yeah, this thing's. It says online it's actually rated for 26 horse, so I don't know. Maybe they derate them for emissions or something because we live in California, so. Oh, that's nice. I just now seen that. It's got a drain hose for the oil. Sweet. Nice. That Toro was a mother to change the oil on. It sucked. Anyways, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it looks like the seat does move. I haven't figured out how to move that yet. I just bought this thing a few hours ago. So, I'm gonna do a walk around on it for anybody that's thinking about getting one. Pretty nice seat. It's actually Seems to be leather, actual leather. Nasty. Just a heads up too, if you buy one of these from Tractor Supply, it's where I got mine. Um, they absolutely will not let you load your own machine. Okay, well, there's the manual. I yeah, told you I just bought it. battery it's got a flipping charcoal canister that's cute a joke that's what that is right there it's an emissions canister you could probably take that off and tee it together get rid of that a couple more horses probably uh, solenoid there looks like a UR1 battery or so November 21 what? It's only April of 21. How's that possible? Maybe that's when it's no good. That's what I'm talking about there. No. It's 
got a pretty good sized gas tank on it. Another thing too, actually, on that fuel. Uh, so here in California, at least Northern California where I live, the highest octane at the pump you can get is 91. It's very rare to see 92, but it does happen. So we have actually been buying the uh, VP Racing Fuel, the T2. It's 105 octane premix fuel. And as long as it's smokeless oil, like synthetic, you can run them in a four-stroke without hurting them, fouling the plug, so on and so forth. <clears throat> and we have found that it has made a huge difference because we run them in all three of those mowers, the weed eater, or weed eaters, uh, the new blower, etc. That's pretty, that's pretty cool in my eyes. I mean, it's made a huge difference on the machinery as far as how they run, how they start, everything. The whole thing just makes a huge difference. All right, so let's see. Creature comforts. Uh, the machine itself, like the seat, the foot placement is pretty comfortable. Um, these here actually have, sorry, dang it. Um, I call them a cob knob. So you unscrew that and it's got a bunch of different settings on there. So like the guy that loaded it, he was huge. He's probably close to 300 pounds, he's a big boy, real big boy. I'm about 230, so I'm almost 100 pounds smaller than him. Anyway, see, I did these and moved them like up to here. It's just a preference. Uh, cup holder it looks like a cell phone holder, and I don't understand why they put the cup holders on the discharge site. Does that make any sense? But whatever. So yeah, I mean, so far I'm happy with it. I'll do another when I actually get to go mow and go anything over an acre with it. Probably be a week or two before I do. Then I'll do a, a part two on this and give an actual review on it. The, the Toros I had, uh, the first two, uh, the first one, I'm trying to remember which side went first. First one, I think it was the right side transmission went out, like it exploded, totally grenaded. Uh, I've seen parts, didn't see any fluid, so I'm guessing somebody didn't fill it up, but it, I don't know, it's hard telling. Uh, second one, the left side went, the third one uh, started pitching deck belts, just cut them in half and flung them out the back. So I had actually put new blades on it, new new pedestals, and I only had like 10 hours on it. New belts, it was still doing it. So something was either bent, out of line, um, et cetera, et cetera. It's hard telling. And the fourth one, both transmissions went out identically. So that to me seems like it's probably a pump. So anyways, I took it back, got my money back on it, which was almost 43, actually almost $4,400. So yeah. So it was the life. Out here, it's not. Heard them blades, would you? Hmm. Blades. Right there. Wow. Found these two. Extreme mulching blade set. What were these, 10 bucks, 15 bucks difference? I don't know. The stock ones were, I think, 68. And those were 80. I didn't look at any of the prices. I know it was nice for once, wasn't it? Not having to. <laughs> so anyways, we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to... 
you can ask this one here. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. It does what it does. Let's see what happens.